we're traveling to D.C. today for anybody affected by 9-11. 9-11 responders, volunteers, civilians, people who worked and lived in lower Manhattan. Um, we've gone eight years now without federal legislation. Um, and to me, that's an insult and it's un-American. And we're being joined on Capitol Hill today by great elected officials from the state of New Jersey, New York, and, and across the country. And Senator Laufenberg and Menendez and Congressman Pascrell from New Jersey will be out there speaking on behalf of all those represented in New Jersey. And I just want to say thank you because this is to many 9-11 responders who've never been to D.C. This is an historic day for them because they're actually going to see the members of Congress who vote for and against this bill. And they're going to get to see how it works and why it's taking so long. And hopefully by the end of the day, we can... Uh, we can show it a, a big enough impression where these men and women are going to get the help they desperately deserve. Well, I'm standing next to uh, a hero, and uh, I get chills when I stand next to men in uniform like this. Uh, Captain John Gallagher from the FDNY uh, is sick because of his heroic actions at 9-11, uh, and you can see the oxygen that he's on. And uh, there's many more on these four buses that are in the same position as him. and. Uh, I don't consider myself a hero, but uh, I'm traveling with them today, and uh, it's a great honor. Uh, our bill, if, if passed, will help uh, not only 9-11 responders, but children and the people that lived in uh, lower Manhattan. My name is Teresa Covell, uh, fiance of Gregory Covell, who passed last year due to leukemia, 9-11 related. We're on our way to Washington to hopefully, for the same reason we were there last two Februarys ago actually, to get the HR bill passed. And now I'm not fighting for him any longer. I'm here fighting for everybody else that deserves the health care and uh, the respect. I mean, it's time they step up to the plate and give these men what they deserve, men and women what they deserve, I should say. Uh, Tracy Zane. Um, my husband Robert, he worked for the NYPD for 16 years. He went down to 9-11 as a first responder. Um, this is my son Bobby. Um, he's four years old and um, my husband got, um, was diagnosed with kidney cancer in January of 2007 um, and this is as a result of 9-11. Uh, my husband passed away May 12th, 2009, and basically here today, going down to Washington with the Feel Good Foundation to help um, the first responders get the health coverage that they deserve and the compensation. Um, hopefully that this bill would get passed so many people I'm, that are less fortunate than my family will be able to um, get the treatment that they deserve. I just feel like they're being forgotten about. Um, I just don't think that our government is doing enough for us. As our family, you know, all of the families, like, we, we can't lose any more. I know there's going to be more lost, but unfortunately, we have to say that. But we have to try. We have to try to keep these families together because it's so hard. It's so hard. I'm Madeline McCaffrey, as was Thomas McCaffrey. I work for the uh, New York City Highway Department. We work from the uh, September 12th, four and a half months he was down there. Um, debris removal, that was it was supposed to be that. He was on the bucket brigade with the rest of the FDNY and everybody else. He um, suffered many, many complications as time went on. It took about three years. And, uh, strokes, cancers, Seizures, more strokes, more cancer, and he he passed four years ago, and I just had that anniversary a couple of days ago, and it's been a long haul, and we're going down to Washington today to fight for the health care of the people who still exist, and for the Victims' Compensation Fund, which should have never had a deadline to begin with, and uh, serve justice to all, to all the heroes and their families. Thank you for coming out. 
but go back to those buildings with a mission and tell other members of Congress and the Senate to join you like you joined us. Because if you don't do that, then today's a waste. We need your leadership more than ever. 9-11 responders are going to sicker and die and at a faster rate. And we need your leadership. And that goes for the union leaders. God bless you all for being here today. But together, as a team, as united, we will find the solutions and the problem solving. And we will get H.R. 847 and S-1334 passed. Thank you and God bless you all. Good morning, everybody. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their busy day to come down and show the people who we've elected to represent us what's vitally important to our futures. About a month ago, um, we held a press conference, a rally down at the Trade Center, and uh, John and Congressman Nadler were exchanging uh, sayings by fine presidents of the United States. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to remind many of the people here today what Teddy Roosevelt once said, and that is that any man good enough to shed his blood for this country is good enough for a square deal afterwards. We fill buses today with people that are still waiting eight years later for that square deal. We're here to say that we will not wait any longer. Eight years ago, New York City firefighters, those that are here with us today, those that are manning the firehouses in the city of New York, and those that have passed from us, do their work at the Trade Center, ran in while everybody ran out. We did not ask eight years ago what was in it for us. We did not want to know what was in it for us. It was our job. It was our duty. It was the right thing to do. We're now here today to remind those who are elected to do the right thing. We are sick. We are dying. Dying is the price you pay for living, and we understand that. But it is not fair that 45-year-old men are leaving two and a half year old children and 38 year old wives countless times. Unfortunately, those that knew what the toxins of the Trade Center had told us that five to 10 years would be the witching hour. We are now at that witching hour. We are sick, we are dying, we are not gonna wait another day. I wanna thank everybody again who took time out of their busy day today to show up and remind our elected officials that we are sick, we are dying, we will not wait another day. To the members of the New York City Fire Department who filled the bus, who took time out of their schedule, I want to thank you also. Hoorah! Again, you remind us, duty, honor, country. You guys have done a wonderful job. Stick together. We will get this done, I promise you. The work hasn't been easy. You guys are starting to make it just that much easier. You guys are reminding us, you guys are reminding the nation the work that took place eight years ago. We will work just as hard as we did eight years ago today to get this bill passed, to protect our futures, and protect our families. Thank you for coming, guys, and have a nice day. I'm going to uh, address this as a success. I'm going to judge today by 9-11 uh, responders who uh, are most of the time depressed and uh, have a, a frown on their face. These people have pep in their step. They have renowned energy. They, uh, they have a new purpose, and uh, to me, that's a success all by itself. We, we've gained uh, over a dozen new co-sponsors. We've had uh, important meetings with uh, the Speaker Pelosi's office, what I like to think was positive. We had a, a, a meeting with uh, Senator Gillibrand's office, which was very positive. And, and I have one more meeting when everybody gets on the bus, and I'm going to have to go home on the train. But I'm going to meet with HHS by order of the White House, and we're going to keep our message the same as the rally and the press conferences that... We want our bill moved. We want it on the floor. We want it to be voted on. We have enough votes to win. It's the bottom line. Move the bill. Yeah. Speaker Pelosi, HHS, Barack Obama, move my bill. Move our bill. We waited eight years. This 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 young boy right here, who's my buddy, his father's sick. And his father deserves this bill to be passed. That's it. We're not gonna quit. We're gonna keep fighting. And uh, everybody that came out here today, uh, God bless them all. Uh, I can't thank God everybody enough. America. I can't thank everybody enough. God bless America. God bless America.